Hey everyone, my name is Zagiti, aka Black Girl Scientist, and welcome to my channel. Welcome especially to you if you're new here, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about a task which may actually seem quite daunting, and that's reading research articles. So I really want to go through the tips kind of and the tricks that I use to effectively and efficiently read a research article. So I'm going to be taking you through, you know, things that I do that kind of helps me to go through them quicker and more efficiently. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, keep watching. But before we get into the video, we have hit the 1000 subscriber mark. That was terrible. I, I don't know why I saying that. But <laughs> I'm so excited. I was so excited when I saw 1K underneath Black Girl Sciences. So thank you. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's free. You just need to sign into YouTube and you can click the subscribe button. So I'm really, really excited about reaching 1K subscribers. And as promised, this is a giveaway video as well. I'm going to be giving a way drum roll please <laughs> i'm going to be giving away 1000 rand cash as well as a beauty box hamper now this hamper this is it here it's so beautifully wrapped and it's really heavy it's got a lot of goodies inside this hamper was actually given to me um, to, do, well, donated for this giveaway by a very good friend of mine, um, Zesipo. So thank you, thank you so much to her. And it's got a lot of luxurious products in here um, that you'll actually see. I'll open the box at the end of the video. Also, how you enter the giveaway will also be, um, I'll also be going through those details of how you can enter to win 1,000 Rand cash as well as this beautiful beauty box. So that will all be at the end of the video so let's get into today's video so today we're going to be talking about how to efficiently and effectively read research articles i know if you are currently doing your postgraduate whether it's your honors masters or phd or postdoc you're definitely going to read tons and tons and tons of research articles so it's really important that you get through them quickly enough but efficiently enough that you get everything that you need from that particular article so first of all what is a research article a research article is um you know a piece of work that reports on original research so this is not only limited to science you know a lot of science research articles are related to me lab work and then they report on their findings it's literally across the board any kind of research that you do whether it's research in politics in science in you know any field in law a research article reports on original research so i know it may seem like a really da daunting task i mean it took me a while to get the hang of it you know i'd find myself in my earlier postgraduate year so like my honors and my masters i really found it difficult to go through research articles it's not the reading that's difficult but it's the grasping the concepts and it's remembering you know the concepts as well and it's really being able to identify information that you need and that's going to help you in your research from reading another research article so you know you don't want to find yourself being left with piles and piles of research articles and you actually are not doing you know what you need to do to get what you need out of them efficiently so first of all i'm going to start with some don'ts when you're reading um, research articles okay don't print them all out <laughs> you know we want to save paper we live in a very digital world and i really don't think it's necessary especially if you haven't read them to print out research articles you may be printing out articles that you don't even need um so that's my first don't my second one is don't try to read the entire research paper in one go so from beginning to end don't try and do that because you're probably going to get to the end and you don't even remember what the topic is on or what the title of the research article is so don't try and overwhelm yourself like that 
so research articles are usually um, across the board so this is not just limited to science or stem they usually have components that make up a research article so they normally have an abstract first of all which is a summary of the study so this includes everything you know that they talk about in the paper that's an abstract then the paper has an introduction it has a method section, it has a result section, and then it has a discussion and conclusion section. Um, and then of course it has the acknowledgements and then the references. So that's what makes up a research article. So how to efficiently and effectively read a research article to benefit you, because that's why you're reading the article, to benefit you and your work and to move you forward, to propel you in your own research. So firstly, what I do, Number one is that I read the abstract. The abstract, I absolutely love um, reading the abstract because it's a summary. It's a, a look into exactly what the paper is. I'd say it has like a few lines of the introduction, a few lines of the methods, a few lines of their major findings, and a line or two about their um, discussion and conclusion and maybe a way forward as well. So really, everything that you need is in the abstract read the abstract don't attempt to skip the abstract you know in attempt to try and get a deeper understanding of the paper when you're not even really sure is this paper going to help me so first of all read the abstract from the abstract you may not gather all the information that you need of course because it's just a tiny piece of what the paper is actually about but the abstract of course has to be you know something that grabs the attention of the reader something that makes you want to read more so abstracts are usually very good at doing that especially abstracts of um science research articles you want to know you know oh that's cool how did they find that how did they do that so that's number one, read the abstract. Number two, I'd say in the field that I'm in, I don't really do this a lot because I'm in the, in the field of HIV. I don't really read the intro because the intro is really the same or similar in all the papers that I'm reading that pertain to my research. I know they're going to talk about HIV. It's still, you know, there's still no cure for it. Maybe some stats on HIV, you know, maybe the particular gene that they have investigated in that research article and stuff like that. That is stuff that I already know. It's stuff that I gathered from the title. So what I do is I actually read the end of the introduction. So basically they leading sentence into the aim of the study. So in the introduction, they normally you know do a bit of the literature review like i mentioned that stuff i don't read and then um you know lead us into the aim of their study so where is their gap in the research and what their study aims to do so after reading the abstract i read the end of the introduction and then so i'm seeing now more with recent papers that are coming out is that the order has changed so it's no longer introduction methods results discussion and conclusion it's now introduction results discussion and conclusion then the methods at the end which i absolutely love actually because i felt like delving into the methods after the introduction uh, um it wasn't really like a great way to do it for me i'd rather see the results what are the major findings that they found and then go down and be like oh, oh okay actually how did they do that how did they come to those results at the end so i really do like the new order of things the new way um you know that they're doing it so i read the abstract and then i read the end of the introduction then in the results the results are usually subdivided into headings so they have the headings of their major findings for each section you know of the results section so what i do is that i quickly browse those headings to see um you know their major findings and then i look at the figures before i even look at the text of the figures i look at the figures you know and this is this is still browsing to see is this a paper that i'm really um is going to be of benefit to me am i going to use it am i going to learn something from the paper am i going to gain something from the paper so keep that in mind that you're reading this is not um you know fictional reading that you're doing for fun lounging by the pool or your bedtime story this is reading you know this is like serious substantial reading that you need to do to benefit you so don't forget that when you're reading if you find yourself reading information that's really um, not pertaining to you and your study ditch it like 
time is so important time is money <laughs> so ditch it um, um then ditch that paper then you know that you don't need it and it's not it doesn't pertain to your research it doesn't benefit you in any way so then i have a squiz at the figures um after that and then by then i have gathered is this a paper that i'm going to use is this a paper that i'm not going to use so you see i've skipped over reading the literature I haven't even read the discussion um, and the conclusions which they literally have at the end. I have not read the methods either. So don't, that was my first don't, is don't try and read the entire paper because you're really going to kick yourself if it's not something that you need. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really what I do to efficiently read um, research articles. So I'm just going to show you one going to show you one um that i've read like one that i have found um you know in my reading that is of benefit and is important to me i've printed it out as you can see so that's why i said don't print out all the papers because you may not need it um i really find it helpful as well to highlight as you can see i've highlighted here so really interact with the paper you know be one with the paper you know the the more dynamic your interaction with with the paper i think the more you're going to gain from it so i've highlighted stuff i've put asterisks and stuff i think they some pages um that i've actually written notes there's somewhere i've written like definitions i don't i'm not sure if if that's clear and stuff but yeah so that's what i really really would encourage and recommend is that once you've actually found a research article because they can actually become quite complex um is to really um i find it um that's why i said in the beginning don't print all of it because um I find it maybe a bit old school, but I like to tangible. I like to touch it. I like to highlight on it. I like to write with it. I like to interact with it. I like to become one <laughs> with the paper. Okay, so that's why I printed out. So those are my tips um, and tricks to reading um, research articles efficiently. Uh, if you are currently, you know, uh, postgrad or if you're done with your PhD and postdoc and you read research articles and you have found tips and tricks along the way, please leave the comment for us down below, um, you know, because mine may not work for every, for everyone and I may discover a new one, you know, from you guys that you guys use um, to efficiently, you know, and effectively read research articles. So please leave me a comment down below or any questions that you may have with regard to this topic. So that's the end of the topic. So I know <laughs> I've been keeping in suspense about the giveaway. So as I said, I am going to be doing a 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, and if you're watching this today on Friday, so the entries are going to close next week, Friday, the 16th of July. So let's get into the giveaway details. Like I said, I'm going to be giving away 1000 Rand cash. So with this 1000 Rand cash, and this is really going to be, um, you know, a theme in all the giveaways that I do. And because of everything Black Girl Science stands for, you know, myself as a brand and as a chat and as a channel, you know, I really want to empower, motivate and inspire encourage young people especially young people that look like me to pursue a career in science so my giveaways are always going to be um you know kind of in light of that so with my 1000 rand giveaway you have to use it to um either for a registration or to pay towards use it towards paying your fees if you have debt um towards buying a textbook or textbooks you know you have to use it for an educational um purpose okay that's number one with the 1000 rand i'm really um you know pleading with you that you know this 1000 rand i really would love it if you use it for something educational um number two for the this giveaway you have to reside in south africa so because i can't post the the beauty box um well i'm not going to post it outside of south africa um yeah number three you have to um so how you enter the competition is that you leave me a comment down below on what you are going to use the 1000 rand for okay i need to know what you're going to use it for and why you need it okay so that is the really educational element the black girl scientist element um you know of this giveaway and and yeah it's re it's really really important to me and like i said 
the theme of all the giveaways I do, there's going to be a fun element, which it is like in this case, the beauty box, which I'm going to be showing you the contents of in a moment. But that is the main thing for my channel is that you know, it's empowering and, and, and the mentorship and the encouragement and all of that for young people, especially young people in STEM. However, this competition is not only limited um, to people who are either pursuing a degree in STEM, whether you're doing your undergrad, honors, masters, or PhD, okay? So that is a condition for the, the 1,000 Rand. Um, and then the winner of that 1,000 Rand is also going to get the beauty box, okay? So rules of the giveaway um you have to reside in south africa you have to be subscribed to my channel you have to be following me on my social media uh platforms which i always link down below and yeah i think uh that's about it so good luck um to everyone and i cannot help everyone unfortunately you know in the future i really would hope like love to help more and more and more people as black girl scientists grows but that's going to be my 1000 subscriber giveaway 1000 rand cash and the beauty box hamper so um as my friend who donated this um beauty box for this giveaway she likes to call it a self-care box because scientists need a break too <laughs> so yeah um okay so here is this beautifully wrapped box which is the beauty hamper so inside there are a whole lot of goodies in here I'm, I'm not gonna go through everything i'm going to post like a reel on my instagram page black girl scientists of every single thing that's in here so you can see each product but just quickly you know they punch products in here there's some absolutely luxurious products um estee lauder products they clinique products makeup products they also Chanel products. Um, there's a cute little eye mask. There's a key ring. Um, there's also Estee Lauder stuff in here. Estee Lauder stuff with some lippies inside. There's a lip mask. Um, there's a little camera here as well. So this box is probably um, <laughs> worth a couple thousand. I actually haven't Googled everything. Um, you know, but speaking to Zesipo, she probably she ballparked um a figure of like 2.5 to 3000 rand so that is how much this box is worth and if i didn't love you guys so much i would keep it for myself <laughs> yeah so those are all the goodies that are in the box for one lucky win yeah okay so that brings me to the end of this video uh, i feel like i've spoken so much about the giveaway <laughs> i hope you guys haven't forgotten about the reading the research articles and you're going to use some of the tips to read research articles as well so don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to click the notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video don't forget um to share as well if you can and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.